for many. When you think about the music, some may think that how Buddhism is related to music. This is a kind of music invented in Nepal. This is a kind of music trying to bring the strength of music in order to be a part of uplifting your heart and spiritual development. Sur Sudha is the world-renowned musical band who has performed over 200 performances all over 35 different countries in different occasions. They are going to perform us with a very auspicious four different instruments, all inspired by Buddhist teachings, all inspired by life of a Buddha. The first song, the first music they are going to present is Jaye Namo Buddha. Basically, it is a story when Buddha himself revisited Lumbini, the birthplace of the Buddha. And that song is written around 1849. The song says that when Buddha visited the Lumbini, the god of Brahma, the god of all different kinds of celestial beings, went and welcomed with their own capacity, with their music, with their all belongings to the Buddha at their place. The second music is basically they have been kind enough to write, compose, just for you, for this special occasion of 2,600 years of Buddha's enlightenment. And so this song is never played before. You are the first one to hear this music. The third tune will be excellent tune to keep us in mood of triple gem, taking refuse in the triple gem. And the last one will show the strength of music to uplift our spirituality. Let us welcome Sur Sudha.
Hello, thank you. Thank you very much. Distinguished guests, we are very much delighted to have this opportunity to perform our music in front of all of you. And we are very much thankful to WFB. And uh, I know that it will be a huge success of this world with this assembly here in Bangkok. And uh, the music we were presenting has composed almost 200 years back. Now we will play uh, another composition. Uh, 
which is on uh, two four beat rhythm. In fact, uh, this opportunity has become for us the most precious, very important day of Lord Buddha's 2600s of Enlightenment Day. And um, we are very, very thankful for having this opportunity. on this right part the sound little bit high please I would like to have this opportunity also to explain you a little bit about the instruments which is very much famous in Nepal, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Pakistan, India. And uh, these types of uh, traditional classical music, we believe that it's very much relevant, related or concerned with meditation. When we practice or play these music or instruments, we will not achieve the quality we want to have without meditation, without concentration. So, um, we, we really uh, believe that this is a part of meditation and uh, it's very much related to to the way to get enlightenment because the highest quality of our distinguished guest, I would like to express you my experience for playing music more than 35 years. Whenever we come across with the higher quality in music, we also feel, we as a musician also feel we are very near to God, very near, because in that particular point of time, we don't get tired of playing, I think, even hours and hours. We really uh, do not get tired. It's, then the music is played not by this hand, it's, it's by mind, it's by heart. Thank you for your patience. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much.